Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12, playing the Direwolf 20 mod pack here on an SMP server with uh let's see if we can bring it up. We'll, we'll do that. Currently with Dadcraft73 on. He is probably doing some recording. He did mention he was going mining. I don't know if he's recording or mining at the moment. I haven't asked him, but I don't want to bother him too much. So anyway, what are we gonna do today? Well, uh, last time we worked on immersive engineering the water wheel right so we got that thing over there i really wish i really wish i had optifine in here so we could do the cheaty zoom key over there but that thing has been working really well we've got power cells i put down the other four that were here uh, let's see i don't know if you've seen every one of the ones i put down but we certainly put down one on top of our uh, atomic reconstructor there so that we could convert um convert or keep that thing powered up and all of these power cells are full 8 million rf so not too shabby we're currently at 88 rf a tick got plenty of storage be nice to have some more but i don't know what else is there for storage we've got the power cells from rf tools we've got the batteries let's do an energy cells or energy cells from thermal dynamics and then there's the big old energy ball from draconic evolution we're a little ways off from that. What are we going to do today, though? We're going to get into bees, okay? So uh, if you come back here, you can see I've got... Uh, let's come back a little bit. Yeah, we've got some hives hanging out about around here, and I want to be able to take care of those safely. And, and so we've got something we've got to do for that. And then I also want to actually use the bees this season. So we're going to do immersive engineering. And we've already gone further in immersive engineering than I've ever gone before with the water wheel. Yes, that's that might be saying a lot. But we're going to get into bees. Instead of running a quarry uh, the, the easy way, we're going to use bees to grow our items that we need. So uh, a few things we need for this, uh, this adventure. We're going to need some scoops. Okay, so this is a recipe for scoops. It's pretty simple. It uses a lot of sticks. We're going to need a bunch of them, though, because we're going to be going off on an adventure. Maybe not today, but certainly, or maybe not, uh, I might not take you along with me on it, but we're certainly going to go on an adventure. We'll chuck the black wool back up in there. Okay. And then we're going to need a couple of things called um, our, our, a machine. So forestry adds some machines and we're going to be doing something called the carpenter. Let's bring that up here. Okay. So pretty simple. Take some bronze along the outside and a sturdy casing. Okay, that's not too bad. And sturdy casing is made of bronze. The way to make bronze here, we could smelt it, I guess, but you can also craft it, which is pretty cool. So we'll we'll take all of that. And then we're going to make uh, one of those. We're going to need more than that. Do we have any more? Yeah, we need two sturdy casings. So we got that. That's the centrifuge. Okay, that's another one we need. So centrifuge is copper ingots and a sturdy casing. Okay, we're going to need that to process the, uh, the what's it, um, these, no, do I have them there? No, no, no. I've got one here. Honeycomb. The word left me. We need some, some more copper and tin, was it? Uh, I may have lost it here. Let's see if we can bring this back up. Bronze. Yeah, copper and tin. I'll get this memorized eventually. So we need a little bit more, maybe like this and not that. We need four of them. Okay. And then another sturdy casing. Okay. And there we go. And we'll put this in here. Oh my goodness. This already is proving to be more than I figured. I didn't plan all this out. I thought I had it good to go, but apparently not. We'll do that and that. And that gives us the carpenter. The reason we need the carpenter is that we need to build something called the portable analyzer. Okay. And uh, you know what? We should just bring up at forestry. Okay. And I'm going to bring up the portable analyzer. This thing right here lets us analyze bees, trees, and butterflies. But you have to use the carpenter to build this. So we're going to, what is, does it require? fuel it just needs some water okay so let's grab that and that and where are we going to set this up i don't really have 
Uh, I don't really have a good spot, but maybe, maybe right here. Okay, so let me just warn you. Okay, we are, uh, we're not doing things in quite the manner that you might want. We're not arranging things the way that they should be arranged. And that's because we don't have our final design yet. We need to get some more of our items in place before we start thinking about an overall design. And, and so it, if it looks like things are kind of spread out and, and willy nilly here, well, they are. Okay. So bear with me as we, uh, as we figure this out. Okay. So we got that. And then if we come over here, can we do this? Inventory needs resources. What resources does it need? Does it need RF? Add to the machine's inventory to begin crafting this recipe. Okay. We've got stained glass. Do yeah. Tin tin ingot. Uh what sort of What does that do? Hmm. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. I got it. All right. So, oh, it does need power. What we will do then is grab uh, that guy and get that. Okay. And then we will do that. And we'll set this to out. And it looks like it's going. Okay. And that means that what we can do, um, bring up F4, make OBS go nuts, and get rid of F4, make OBS go nuts again. And then we'll put down the centrifuge uh, for later. So that's going to be able to get power. Uh, that doesn't look so good, though. And the reason why you can't hear any sound over here is because I got a sound muffler. All right. So another point of reference here, I did a little adventure to the nether and to a slime island. And I got these trees here. I don't know if, if that magma slime sapling is going to grow right here. Missing resources. Of course is missing resources. We don't know what to do here. All right. So now I've got a portable analyzer which means that I can actually take a look at some of these bees. I've never used one of these, or at least I don't remember using one. Let's see what this does. So click it and then chuck that in there. Honey required. Oh, so that means we're going to have to get some honeycomb. Okay. Well, then that means we're going to have to take a little walk um, before we go much further. Now, um, to be safe when you are harvesting from a or, or dealing with a honeycomb or a, a hive, you're going to need a smoker. So we've got that. And does this take, there's no, there's no sort of fuel or anything. Okay. And then over here, uh, yeah, we're going to get to that in just a moment. But what I want to do over here is I've got the scoop and I've got the smoker. We should be able to right click right okay and then grab that and there we go so we've got a marshy princess ignoble stock and a marshy drone okay and how about okay there's another one over here and this is probably going to be the name of the game for uh the near future is uh, collecting these things and what did i get there Marshy Princess, Valiant Princess, okay, and some Mossy Combs, okay, that's cool. Do we have any others around here? How about this? This is not a Forestry Comb. That's a Pam's Harvest Craft one, so it's a different set of bees. Not, uh, not really interested in that, right? Yeah, Queen Bee, Pam's Harvest, okay, yeah. Any others around here? I don't know if we do. We may have some others, but I'm going to have to do some collecting of these and then we'll see about 
getting some honey. Do we have any others that are easy striking distance here? Okay, we've got particle effects coming off those flowers. That kind of throws things off for me. Any others? And yes, I realize it is nighttime, but I have lit this entire thing up, so we should be fine. And of course, that's famous last words, right? We'll see if we've got... Doesn't look like there are any, any bad guys over here waiting for me, but... Uh, you know, stranger things have happened. Let's keep eating up. Actually... We won't have bacon and eggs. We have bacon and eggs for breakfast. Okay, so we've got a hamburger there. We'll get ready for if we need food um, in the morning. Let's grab some of these while we're at it. Any other... I don't think there are any other combs out here. So, or hives. Uh, yeah, there's one. Okay, good. So we'll do that. Okay. And boom. All right. So we've got... Another Marshy Princess Pristine Stock. That's good. The Ignoble Stock, from what I understand, has a lower lifespan. Um, and the Pristine Stock is uh, has a much longer lifespan. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm still learning some of this. So we'll see how all of that, uh, that pans out. But for now, what we need to do is get back to our, our main area over here. Okay. And... Really, I think one of the first things that I need to work on with the overall design here is a set of bridges. I want to connect all of these islands together. We're going to have a series of piers and, and docks and stuff. So I have a little water world type inspired thing with uh, kind of some rustic, rustic effects. So I've kind of been planning out the overall look and feel in my creative testing world. And so hopefully you enjoy that. It is going to be using some mineral logs and some maple wood. We're gonna use all, all modded stuff, okay? So hopefully that, uh, that sounds pretty good to you. I didn't get any combs out of that. So what I need to do is, is this. I wanna take this, I did want to show you the combs in the, in the centrifuge, but we'll have to come back to that. I'm gonna get an apiaris chest and then I'm gonna take this and put it into the apiarist backpack and then we should be able to uh, put this thing and put all of our bees in there okay so we've got four queens five princesses 11 drones we've got plenty of room for all of that stuff and i'm going to take this bee and put it up here and we'll put these drones in here okay so now I think our next order of business is to uh, see if Dadcraft needs the night. And then I will show you another little area that I have um, I have been hanging out around. Okay. Excellent. So the reason I'm doing this is because I've got another area that... I'm I'm going to be dealing with for for bees. The reason why is because I could not actually do what I needed to do over here. Oh, Enderman, Enderman, I I need Enderman. Come here, come here. We need Ender pearls. Oh, and it, they are loud as all get out. Let's see. Okay, so I've made him mad. Okay, Will. Where'd he go? I bet they went downstairs or down in a cave somewhere. Or he's over there. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, I am getting sidetracked. I don't need to be getting sidetracked. But I really need Ender Pearls. I bet. Yeah, he went into a cave. Oh well. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. I've gotten a couple of them while I was out here at night one time, trying to get some some regular slime. We've got blue slime and purple slime and all that. But we can't get the green slime when we need it. And so I set up some of these apiaries that I got out of 
a uh, forestry uh, forestry what is it forestry villager house and and well it it didn't quite do what I wanted at my swamp it didn't the bees did not like what I offered them so uh, so I, I had to come over here to a plains area and it turns out it worked pretty well so um, I've got this area chunk loaded and yeah we can take a look here so I've claimed it and I've chunk loaded it so we're gonna do some bees over here and this thing is full and did we get any okay we got a meadows princess and a meadows drone forest drone and some honeycombs okay that's cool honeycombs there forest princess meadows drone what if we took uh, a marshy drone and mixed it with a Meadows Princess? Let's try that. Just, just for grins and giggles, okay? And we'll do this and then see about a marshy princess, pristine stock. And what did I put over here? Meadows Queen. Okay. So we got a Meadows Queen. Pristine stock. Unknown. Unknown. Okay. So then maybe we'll try. Ooh, a Valiant Princess. We'll try that. And then this is a Meadows Queen. How about... Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing, so we'll just try that. And then Marshy Princess, Meadows Drone, and we'll see what this does. Okay, that gives us a Marshy Queen. And then maybe, just maybe, let's throw another Meadows Drone in there just for grins and giggles. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. So we'll leave that be, and let's go over and take a look at our... Uh, at our centrifuge and see if we can get some useful things out of that. Um, I think uh, one of the other things I need to work on is some sort of easy teleportation between the two or flight. And I think flight is going to be next episode. So uh, do watch out for that. How long have we been going for? About 17 minutes. Okay, so let's get out of here and take a look at the centrifuge and we'll throw one of these in and see if we can get some honey out of it. Okay. And you know what? We'll just throw all of the honeycombs in there. We're going to get plenty more from those apiaries over there. And we get honey drop. And then we should be able to take uh, this. Let's say we get the Valiant Princess and put portable analyzer here. And we'll do that and that. Okay, so... Long life, slow worker, okay, diurnal, nocturnal, so day and night, and flowers. What sort of flowers? And I guess we need more honey to get further information. So let's see. No, we don't have to, okay. So that gives us what types of, just flowers, okay. And here, climate tolerance, normal, humidity, okay. So it can work at day and night. Tolerant flyer, I'm not sure what that means. Cave dwelling, don't know. I'm going to have to look some of this stuff up. But we are at least on, on the road to, uh, to some, some bees, okay. And look, hey, that... That went okay so let's maybe grab marshy drone and run that in okay shorter lifespan slowest production slower pollination flower type mushrooms interesting okay so the best way for marshy to work is with mushrooms all right so this part i'm learning all about okay that's interesting. We'll do that there. And then that one we've analyzed. How about a forest drone? Just to see. Let's throw this guy up here. Overall, 
not not the best doesn't produce much just honeycomb okay well i've got some more research to do certainly but this i do believe is a decent enough start grab all of the honey there and we'll load this thing up with fuel and we'll go from there so uh from from this point on what i'm going to be doing off camera is going and collecting more combs uh, as you as you may have seen me just do already um, as I see them we need to collect some I know there there's some in all different biome types so it would really help to kind of change up where we're going for all of that there's one right there so let's see if we can get close enough and we'll see what we get out of here we've got the smoker okay do that and then we got one thing out of that one. Forest. I'm not sure what we managed to get out of that one. Okay. Uh, not much. Okay, just uh, just one, one item there. But um, there we go. That's going to be the name of the game for now. I'm going to go on a little adventures and be doing that off camera. Next order of business is flight. So we'll get into that. We'll get into forestry and bees some more. But I think this is as good a start as any. Why? Why can't you work? Oh, we don't have, we don't have a recipe. Okay, that's fine. The carpenter uses recipes from a number of different, different areas. So, or different things. So we'll get into that if we need to. But hopefully, you enjoyed this short, short look at, uh, at forestry and bees, and maybe it'll help you get started as well. Uh, certainly need the centrifuge to process those honeycombs, but. Uh, that is going to be all I have time for for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.